all right folks I am standing here with this bottle of raw milk and many of you may wonder why I drink raw milk on this edition of hippie versus jock folks now into the video why I drink raw milk and I'll let you know a, a little story and it's an interesting one because for years and years I actually was in the bodybuilding I ended up uh, drinking a lot of whole milk uh, basically because of my, my, my height and my weight and my calorie requirement milk had all the macros I ever needed and, and, and help me out with calories so basically I had my, my protein and my milk and I would go through a gallon a day along with the protein powder that was in it along with the three meals I ate so basically six equivalent meals a day don't know how many calories I was never a macro counter person a lot of people count macros nowadays I never did that I made sure I got my basic requirements in and the vegetables and stuff like that came along with my meals now for years and years I heard that that raw milk was dangerous and this and that about raw milk and the bacteria is just horrible and you could die and nevertheless for, for the most part I believed it because you know you kind of believe what you're told especially when they keep telling you over and over and over again raw milk is the devil you can't drink raw milk without dying you could die even if i read on on the back of he, this thing it says raw unpasteurized milk and raw milk dairy products may contain disease causing microorganisms persons at the highest risk of disease from these organisms include newborns and infants the elderly, pregnant women, those taking, uh, what is that, cortisol, steroids, antibiotics, or anesthetics, and those having chronic illness or other conditions that weaken their immunity. Now it's funny, it also has milk from cows not treated from hormones or antibiotics. The plastic bottle is BPA and BPS free, which is no bisphenol. And I find it weird that they could care about BPA and BPS free bottles and be putting something absolutely crazy in my body as far as product. So one day, and this is years after my bodybuilding was done. I pretty much just played basketball and didn't do basketball and bodybuilding simultaneously, which is the reason I needed so many calories in the first place, because I actually played the sport. I, I saw a video, and I used to go to the farmer's market for years and years, and uh, I don't know, there's a couple of raw organic, organic people there uh, one of them was organic pastures and for the longest time I would go buy them it was like would you like to try um, a, a sample of raw milk I would turn my nose at them and look at them like they were crazy it was like there's no way in hell <laughs> you're gonna get me to drink that stuff I could die <laughs> 
And sure enough, one day, you know, after I, I guess he was called me starting to go to the hippie side, I ended up seeing a video. And, you know, I watched a lot of videos, a lot of interesting stuff about health, and ended up coming across a news story where it was raw some foods and literally it looked like a drug raid with them going through that building i mean they had guns drawn and basically they ended up throwing out all their raw milk all their raw cheese all the raw kefir and all this other stuff that was raw and it was interesting because i'm looking it's like man they, they, were, they must have been dealing drugs and you know instantly it wasn't instantly, but you know, within the week when I it was time for me to go to the farmer's market, I saw those same raw dairy people who were selling the raw milk. Would you like to try a sample of raw milk? Well, it looked like those folks are dealing drugs. There must be something absolutely right with this. Because <laughs> if they want you to put vaccines in you, and if you ever read the inserts of vaccines and look up the actual ingredients and what they actually contain and what those ingredients actually do, you'll see some interesting stuff. But they want you to put that in your body. So I'm like, maybe it's just the opposite. I'll go get me some, <laughs> some raw milk. They asked me whether I wanted some raw milk. I said, hell yeah, I just watched the, the news <laughs> and I saw a video of them, of them raiding this place over some raw products. Now keep in mind that if I go to McDonald's or a lot of these other places where you eat it and your gut bacteria dies, and I read this and it says this could have microorganism and disease causing like bacteria in it. I'm like, hold on, this could be a possible fix for a problem caused by, we'll say fast food. And I don't like calling it fast food. I call it something to eat because I'll be damned <laughs> if I'm going to call that stuff food. Food generally helps your body it doesn't take away from your body so when i read that if you eat this stuff it could cause cancer and which you, if you read the actual french fries are a problem and they put it out of the outside of most mcdonald's at least here in, in california they'll have it and if you read into it further it's the french fries most times they're, they're talking about and then you read other stuff saying hey it kills your butt but your your gut bacteria that's not food so i had me some raw milk that day and sure enough if it wasn't the creamiest thing i've ever had in my life and it, it actually tastes really good it, it tastes like like cream it's really creamy sure enough after that i made it a habit occasionally to get raw milk and it's funny, I'll get one of these little things of raw milk and uh, I used to always get it by the gallon and go through about two cups a day, but I only get it every so often now. Raw milk's not cheap, I can tell you that. In California, it's legal. And believe it or not, despite them not pasteurizing this milk, as far as safety, they are required to be tested at a raw milk farm more often than you do at farms that are pasteurized and i'll put uh, some interesting links in about how they go about testing raw milk and how in reality when you look at it it's potentially cleaner than the milk you see that's actually pasteurized now every time I go to the farmer's market and I get one of these, these 32 ounce or one quart, actually, well, how many of these? Yeah, one quart of raw milk. I'm always amazed at how many people I've taken pictures with of me drinking raw milk and or with me drinking raw milk. <laughs> so I'm going to put it on video. This is my raw milk from organic pastures. It's raw and it's organic. <laughs> Who would have figured?
These cows actually eat grass and alfalfa. <laughs> They don't suck down soy. They don't suck down corn. <laughs> so, here we go. <sighs> and guess what, folks? If I did that with a regular thing of milk in about five minutes I would be sitting on the toilet for one reason or another this milk doesn't do that to me I won't get into why because I won't say I'm an expert I'm just a person who looks at things objectively and finds that this might or could be a cure for something <laughs> and if you want to look up some interesting information on oh, what this might solve or cure yeah, be my guess because <laughs> you won't have me saying it because personally I can't prove it but, but the way they walked into the, that place looking for guns, <laughs> looking like they were looking for guns and or drugs, I find it interesting. But folks, that is my reason for drinking raw milk. Basically, it's my way of giving a finger to certain folks who think they're going to decide what I can and can't put in my body. And that's my reason. Hopefully you join me on my next edition of Hippie vs. Jock.